Pastor Greg Laurie here with a few words on discipleship. Listen to this. Every disciple is a Christian, but not every Christian is necessarily a disciple. Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations. But listen, it takes one to make one. So here's my question to you. Are you a disciple? You say, what does that mean? Let me give you one definition by Jesus. He said, if you want to be my disciple, you must love me more than father, mother, son, daughter, even your own life. So what does that mean? That means that basically there are things that we have in life, relationships. We are to love our wives and our husbands or our sons or our daughters or our moms and our dads. Here's what Jesus is saying. Love those people, just love me more. Here's the cool thing. If you really love God with all of your heart, soul, and mind, He'll give you extra love for everybody else. So love God the most. What is a disciple? A disciple is, according to Jesus, someone who loves God more than anyone or anything else. And also, there in Luke 14, Jesus said, if you want to be my disciple, take up your cross daily and follow me. What does that mean? Wear a cross? Tat a cross? No, it means carry the cross. Back in the old days, 2,000 years ago, if you saw someone carrying a cross, you knew he was going to die. So it means dying to self. But Jesus said, if you lose your life, you'll find it. Here's the interesting paradox, if you will. By losing your life, you find your life. By putting God first, he will bless you in your life. So if you want to be his disciple, and every one of us should want that, we need to take up the cross every single day. Jesus said, go into all the world and make disciples of all nations, teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you even to the end of the age. Here's what it means. It means go out to the best of your ability, lead people to Christ, get them on their feet spiritually, and go and repeat the process again and again and again. It's sort of like wash, rinse, repeat. Evangelize, discipleship, do it again. We're all called to do this. No one gets off the hook. So if you want to make disciples, you have to first be a disciple yourself. You know when you're on the planes and they're telling you what to do in case you lose oxygen and the masks come down? They say, first put it on yourself, then on your child. Why? Because you can't help your kid if you're not getting oxygen. You can't help others if you don't know God as you ought to.